Good morning, East Hamilton. Would everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Present ours. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Welcome to Otis and AM. I'm Eli Stallings. And I'm Aisha Chope. Today is Monday, August 28th. Please pay attention to this video from Hamilton County Schools about vaping. I think Someone might try vaping because I guess it's supposed to make you feel good or make you feel cool and included. I think ways that my age group are encouraged to vape, many people see it outside from like social media, from the news, from pictures. When other people see others vape, it's more of like an acceptance thing, a socially accepted thing. Oh, my friend's doing it. Oh, this person's doing it. I can do it too. You definitely feel peer pressured to do those things. I think some consequences that come from vaping, you might see a decrease in mental health. Cause a lot of long-term like lung problems, like shortness of breath, being super tired. I think if you need support to quit vaping, the first step is always reaching out. There are so many resources, I feel like in schools especially. There's counselors, there's teachers, trusted want like loved ones, parents, family. Vaping can be extremely harmful to your health and school journey. If you or someone you know needs help to stop vaping, let them know there are people who can help. Our school counselors are ready and available. Our administration would like to remind everyone that students are not allowed to leave campus to go get lunch. Also, please do not put pencils or anything in your lockers to prevent from using your combinations to open. Several lockers have been damaged already due to the number of students that are placing pencils in their lockers to prop them open. If lockers are damaged because of this, you the student will pay for it. If something is stolen out of your locker because of this, the administration will not investigate to return stolen items. The University of Chattanooga will be visiting during lunch to answer questions about their campus. Now let's take a look at today's announcements. Come and connect with admissions representatives from college and universities across the world at the LCA College Fair at Chattanooga State on Friday, September 8th. Permission slips are due to Dr. Ellis by Tuesday, September 5th. Permission slips are located in the Student Center on the front desk. The Science National Honor Society applications are available for juniors and seniors who have a 3.5 in all science classes. Please see Ms. Kuberg for an application. Applications are due Friday, September 1st to any science teacher. There will be a Political Science Club kickoff meeting on September 28th at 2.30. You will be able to learn about the government, research, debate, and fundraising. Club officers will be discussed. The meeting will take place in Dr. Frank's room in Upper Yellow. Everyone is welcome. The National Art Honor Society is accepting applications through Friday. You must be a junior or senior, and you must have two visual art credits to qualify. If you fit this qualification, see Ms. Wiggins for an application in room 2200, located in the Upper Blue Hall. There will be a tennis interest meeting today at 6 p.m. in Lower Green. If you are interested in bowling, see Coach Good during your lunch. Purchase your junior and senior Powder Puff t-shirt using the QR code posted on the screen around the school or on the school website. Money must be submitted by the end of the day, Thursday, August 31st. Shirts will be ordered that day. Shirts are $25 and nicknames must be approved by administration before they are printed on the back of the shirt. Does your Chromebook need troubleshooting help? Fill out the troubleshooting form and Ms. Jones will call you down for assistance when she is available. Ms. Jones will only be available at certain times throughout the week and thank you for your patience. Here is a look at the upcoming events. Today, JV Girls Soccer will be at home against Saudi Daisy at 6 o'clock. Golf will be participating in the Givey Invitational playing at Udawal Club. Tomorrow, JV Girls Soccer will be at home against Howard at 6. Volleyball will be traveling to Udawa, JV starting at 5, and Varsity starting at 6. Good luck to everyone and go Canes! Have a great day and thank you for watching. Otis in the AM.